Hi, I'm Rick Hunter, the Chief Paleontologist here at the Museum of Ancient Life at Thanksgiving Point, and I'm here to tell you the story of Ruth, the most unlucky dinosaur to ever live. Ruth is a Gorgosaurus, a member of the Tyrannosaurus family. She's related closely to T. rex, but a little bit older, and as you can see, a little bit smaller. She's the apex predator of her time, but she only has these short little arms with two claws. She really can't even pick her teeth. What a bummer that would be. Back in 1993, a 14-year-old boy named Wes Linster was out exploring on his family's ranch and discovered some bones. It ends up that over 15 years of excavation on that ranch, they discovered over 9,000 dinosaur bones. In 1997, as the father of the family was digging, he noticed some teeth, and it turns out that it's this magnificent theropod called Gorgosaurus, and as he exposed those bones, he noticed that there were some problems with the skeleton. Ruth has a very unusual number of pathologies. We see bacterial infection in the lower jaw. We even see stuff that looks like bone cancer. And we know that that's probably not a break because of the way the bone is growing very gnarly around this area right here. Ruth has a number of broken and healed ribs here in the gastralia. The gastralia are the support for the gut. So if you look at these ribs, you'll notice that in the area of the break, there's an expansion of the bone. The bone is growing to knit that bone back together. Ruth also had a broken tail. At the base of the tail, we see that there's two vertebrae that are, have been broken and they're starting to fuse together along with the chevron or that little bone that hangs down below. One of the very interesting injuries that we see here on Ruth is that she had basically two broken legs at some point. On this left femur, right up at the top, we have a bone that's called the trochanter. It's actually missing, and we see evidence right in this area right here where the bone is starting to grow back, but it never did completely heal. And over here on the right leg, we see that the fibula has been broken in three different places. It's also curved out, and it's healed that way. This tells us that the fibula was actually protruding outside of the skin after that bone had healed. A very, very painful injury. Ruth being a predator that needs to rely on her speed and her balance and her skills to catch her food, this would have really altered the way that she was able to function. So all of these injuries that we've talked about are the observations that we've made about this dinosaur, and they raise some really important questions. How did she survive? It was determined that we wanted to get an endocast of the skull. Now an endocast is a replica of the shape of the brain. This is an endocast of a healthy brain. This is what they should look like. But once they got inside of Ruth's skull, and got the endocast out there, they noticed that in this area right here, the cerebellum, which is the area that controls motor skill and coordination and balance and those sorts of things, there was a bony growth in there that was filling up most of this space. That turns out to be a brain tumor. So if you have a brain tumor in this area, that's going to control your balance. And so Ruth was probably falling down all the time. And if you're a Tyrannosaur and you have these very, very short little arms, and you're going down, you're not gonna be able to catch yourself very well, you're gonna biff it pretty hard. So the big question is, how did she survive this? Let's infer some answers. Maybe she had a mate. Let's say she had a mate that nurtured her to get her by. Or maybe she just toughed it out. We don't know exactly how old Ruth is, but what we do know is that she is a sub-adult, so her life was probably cut short by all of these injuries. She was discovered with a large group of myosaurs, which are duckbill dinosaurs, and hopefully that was her last meal. She actually got to enjoy that before her time was over. So if you like the video, like it. And please subscribe and share. And if you have any questions, please use the comment section below to ask questions about Ruth or paleontology in general. So if you want to see Ruth up close and personal, show up at the Museum of Ancient Life here at Thanksgiving Point. And stay tuned for more videos. See you next time.